Hey guys, this is Mayhem from Adrenaline Mafia Paintball. Uh, I just got done doing a video on uh, changing your settings in your Empire Mini. So if you have that question, go over and watch that video. Uh, it's very easy, very simple, very quick video. I think it wasn't... No, I think it wasn't six minutes because I started talking there at the end. Um, I had a man request Vulcan VMAX review. I'm in a discussion on a video uh, where a guy asked what's better, what, what should I get, VMAX or Rotor. Now, I commented, obviously the Rotor's a better name, blah blah blah, I mean, it's it's obviously a better name, and uh, if you have the money, get it, but this is a very good, this is a Pinocchio in a smaller version, it's exactly what this is, and a Pinocchio is a very good name uh, loader. Um, but he says this can't keep up with a 20 BPS fire rate, which I disagree with fully because I've shot this at over a 20 BPS fire rate. He says it's very loud. That's not very that loud. It's not that loud at all whatsoever. But I'm going to do a quick video on it. Had a guy request the video. Now I'm going to do a drop test during this video. Not really sure what they call a drop test because that makes it sound like you're going to drop it, which I'm not about to do. Box is very similar to a rotor, has the manual, very descriptive, your warranty card, that's it. I'm trying to do this a little bit quick because for some reason my camera does not want to really record anything over eight minutes, and I was just at nine minutes, and now I have to restart. I'll show you how to take off the lid because it's the same exact way with this. You pull this to the side, pop it right out. Very easy to take off the lid. There's a tab right in there. Pull it down, top shell slides right off. Four plate, slide it right out. You got your drive cone, this little tab right here, pop to the side, drive cone comes out. Very simple, very easy. And one thing I have to point out that this does, that the rotor doesn't, is the rotor, once you empty it, it would be going around in a circle right now. All this is just sitting there. Because this is not activated like the rotor is, this is back activated when a ball touches the sensor in here. There's basically a ninja star is kind of what you could consider it. And every time it gets hit, it trips. Now putting this top shell back on, that little gap right there matches up with that little piece right there. Goes on, make sure it is lined up, because the bottom half will fit inside the top half if you're not careful. And I'm not going to put the speed feed back on, just make sure I don't lose any balls. People say that this has to be primed every time you touch the button, it primes. Anytime you put a new pocket. And during this video, I will destroy that because it's 100% false. At first, I'm just going to put, put the whole pot in. Primed itself, did not require me priming. So there you go, uh, but I'll also do more stuff, I'll put a couple balls in at a time. And um, that right there, amongst itself, just proves that this does not need to be primed. But here I'll go ahead and do the drop test. So that's it. That's the entire pod, not a ball left. Now, I'm going to drop just a few balls in, and I'll hold it close so you can hear it prime itself. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Primed itself. Eight balls primed itself. Goes back in. All eight of them fed. Primed itself. Required no priming from me. Now I'll do the entire pot again. Primed itself. Does not require you to prime it. So how much can this hold? Well here's 140 round and there's probably enough room for another 30 balls. It's supposed to hold it's supposed to hold a capacity of 220, which I can see that, and then my virtue crown is supposed to add another 20, which I don't think it does. But Here's the drop test once again. Now 
the ball left. One more time. There you go. If anybody is wondering about the paint, it is simple uh, Empire Field Grade paint. Well, that much it requires. Now, I hope I answered everybody's questions in this video. If there is any other questions, wait, I forgot to tell you about the battery door. The battery door does come equipped with a screw. I did not use that screw because the battery door stays fine. Just like that. You gotta press pretty hard. You got your two 9 volt batteries. Two, turn this. Two, turn this loader off. All you have to do is hold this for three seconds. One, two, three. Loader's off. Putting the lid on. Basically, same exact. Pop in this corner over here. Slowly slide it in. Down. Now this was a video for the Vulcan V Max. This is not the Vulcan V Max 2. This is the original Vulcan V Max. Um, that was obviously a rated over 20 BPS. Um, it is not loud whatsoever. And uh, if you are on a budget, this is basically a small Pinocchio. And it takes apart almost the exact same as the rotor. Uh, this was Mayhem from Adrenal and Mafia Paintball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe. If you have a question, leave it in the comment. If you watch my gear bag videos and you want me to review anything, I will, no matter what. I promise I'll get it done. I have already have a video up of uh, maintaining the bolt on the Empire Mini, changing the settings on the Empire Mini, and both of my gear bag videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. If my mouse works again, because it takes a bit. There we go. See you later.